Hello everybody, welcome to Smooth with Nature. Today's project involves this. This is the Henry AR-7 survival rifle. Uh, it's a very nice compact design. Uh, this gun is made to be torn down and fit into the stock, the buttstock of this gun. What's nice is once you get the, the cap on, this becomes buoyant and it can float in the water should you ever have a kayak wreck or a boat wreck. They're very useful. This is also the problem I've been having. Um, I've been trying to get this into the bob bag. As you can see, it's really thick. You know, it serves the purpose that it needs to, but uh, in this situation, it's not helping me a whole lot. Um, with reducing this, I can make a lot more room in that bag and uh, be able to put more things into it, which is the goal. So what I'm gonna do is make a Weight Watcher version of this to fit onto this. So stick around and let's see how this goes. Okay, so what I want is this pistol grip area here. Not so worried about the stock. Um, I like that shape. So what I'm going to do is transfer it onto my walnut. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be exact. I got the end flush here. So I'm just going to trace this out. And that way I'll have my grip. So we'll cut that out. And then we'll worry about this top piece. Okay, so this is where the uh, the action sets, the receiver and all that. And uh, the important part is that shelf on the bottom. That's where it's actually going to set flat in and then up against that. So I'm going to have to take this and mimic that groove. But keep in mind this is offset. Uh, they had to have this space for the barrel. I'd rather have mine a little more centered. So I uh, just need the width of that groove transferred to this, uh, cut it out, and then we'll drill the hole. So as you can see, that hole comes up there. How about that? I can see that hole comes up about square on the back. So um, be a little math figured in there. Uh, where it comes out on the bottom of the stock, as we did in the uh, shotgun video, I got a lot of room to go down there. So the main part is going to be to start with this hole up here and then go down. <clears throat> so I got a center line and it's three quarters uh, gap in there. So I'm just going off that center line and I'm going to mark there. That's the slot I need. And I'm going to come back here, uh, center line, and then the size of the slot that I need, three quarters. Alright, now I'm just going to connect these lines here. All I got to do is cut that out and uh, I'll have my gap then for the receiver. is I'm heating up these bins that I put in. I got it pretty much in the shape that I want it. So I'm just warming them up. It doesn't have to be cherry red. This is a very low carbon steel. So I just have to heat them up enough to relax the, uh, the stress on the uh, corners here. You can do this cold, that's how low carbon steel this is. But then you take a chance of developing these stress cracks on the bins. I like to warm it up, make it a little more pliable and then go back and warm it up some more. And like I said, that re uh, releases that stress, lets the uh, metal kind of ease into the shape that I have here. So after this, I'll be going right to the uh, water quench. I tried oil, and it doesn't seem to be as hard as water. But keep in mind, this is not gonna be the hardness of a knife. This will be harder than what it was to start with, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. 
I'm just going to file this edge down right here and uh, get the flow into this other one a little better. So start with taking the bulk of it off of the file and then go to the sanding belt. Alright, so as you can see, um, I went ahead and put a little, brought that down and put a little kick into it. That way it'll set loader in my shoulder. And uh, after I got this all put together, put the piece on the end, uh, I could see there was going to be a struggle uh, getting them sites where I wanted it. I wanted it comfortable, so that's why I've done this. And uh, that worked out really well. So we're going to keep moving on with this. Let's try to pretty it up a little bit now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put a little blue Loctite on the end of it. I really wanted uh, permanent, but I couldn't find permanent. So we're going to make this work. And then uh, we'll put some inside the nut as well. That way this is stationary. I don't have to worry about it at a later date that this thing coming apart. Got a little bit of a burr anyway, which helps, but... Okay. So, so there's that. What we're going to do now is we're going to piece, feed that through our uh, retention plate, as I'm going to call it. And we're going to put a nut on this end, not all the way up against it, because uh, this, this actually has to go to an angle. So I'm going to feed that nut up to here somewhere, and that will keep that all from falling out. So that's what we'll be doing next. Well, somewhere around there. We're going to give us a dry run on the fit. Yep, that's where I want it. Yeah, maybe down just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to put the Loctite right on the threads. And then we're going to run this in nut in. And then I'm going to run it past it and then run it back. That way I know I got plenty in there. So. Alright, I think that'd be a good deal. Once again, we're going to check this, make sure it's a fit. I really hate surprises. Okay. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to bolt this plate down, and then that will hold the bolt assembly in. <laughs> Yay, getting closer. There you have it, folks. Ta da! Other side, rolling through. Back for you, bump bump. Okay, so we're gonna take this out and uh, see how it shoots. Uh, how that turned out. So let's go try it out. Run a few bolts through it. There you have it. I think I'm going to add a cheek piece here though. A little bit more comfort. I don't know. We'll kick it around. Yeah, I think a cheek piece would be helpful. But there's what we start with. Yeah. All right. Mosquitoes are getting bad. I'm going in. So here we go. Yeah, I like this. So, finished product. So what we got, uh, it's nice because it, it can tear us down pretty quickly, easily, and it's still going to be able to store it well. So I'll we'll have to get a container, probably make a bag for it. So there is that. This is pretty. This is actually shorter than the barrel, pretty close to it. 
So that makes it nice when we're packing. So this all came about because <coughs> of a future project coming up pretty quickly. Uh, me and a buddy of mine, Tim Black, we'll be taking our uh, bug out bags out and give them a dry run for uh, a weekend. And as I was packing this, you know, I had that uh, Henry stock and it just took up a lot of room in that bag. So uh, that's when I decided I needed to make something just a little bit uh, more streamlined. And that's how this came out. So uh, that's going to be a fun thing. Uh, we'll be out challenging ourselves, uh, going through the bag to see you know, what's we're carrying that we don't need to carry, uh, maybe adding to it, modifying a little bit. So that's uh, coming up here pretty quick, like I said, next couple months maybe. As you can see, I've gotten this ready, uh, in the hair. <laughs> I got the Baalbek days coming up, that's going to be in two weeks. And then the uh, 1800 rendezvous, and then after that will be the Civil War. And then it's going to be deer season because it will be in October. So a lot going on, and we'll have videos of that soon. That uh, you know, as it occurs. <laughs> so, I'm really excited about all that. So this project's done, and uh, I said I do apologize for the start of it because I really wasn't sure how it was going to come out, and it wound up being better than I thought it was going to be. So uh, I hope there was enough detail on there to help. Uh, there usually isn't. So just add a question below, and I'll try to get you an answer. So I'm Gary, Spoon with Nature. Thank you for watching.